This patient has scissoring of his fourth and fifth fingers from fractured bases of the proximal phalanges. We inject the local anesthesia very slowly and numb both fingers and then insert K-wires. We test the movement to make sure that the K-wires are stable enough. We don't need rigid fixation. We just need enough fixation that the fingers will heal in a good position of function. This is functionally stable fixation. Here he is at the end of the case saying he did not have any pain during the procedure. He sits up and we explain to him that we want him to keep his hand up all weekend and be off Advil and Tylenol when he comes back on Monday morning. Here he is on Monday morning in our clinic off Advil and Tylenol with our hand therapist who shows him how to do early protected movement without doing anything that hurts. This is the key rule. They must be off all painkillers and not do what hurts. We only need 30 degrees of interphalangeal joint movement to keep the tendons gliding. We just want to keep them gliding a little bit so they don't get stuck, just like in flexor tendon repair. And if you do that, you don't get K-wire infections. K-wire infections are about doing things that hurt. If they don't do what hurts, they won't get that problem. And so he's in, he wears a splint most of the time, just like for flexor tendon repairs, but takes his finger out to do exercises. Here he is at six weeks. We took the K-wires out at two weeks when the fractures were no longer tender to palpation with the thumb and index finger.